LeBron James is probably one of the five most important NBA players in NBA history, bro. Not only is he one of those five, five most important players, but arguably the GOAT. In my opinion, I would say the GOAT, bro, because I think LeBron is the GOAT, and a lot of y'all know this. But if you think Jordan is the GOAT, that's perfectly fine, man. But with that being the case, LeBron James has his own era here in NBA 2K24. It's called the LeBron era. You may have hold it, heard of it. In this video, we removed him from that era, bro. LeBron is no longer here. Let's say in 2010, LeBron said, bro, I ain't want a title. I got MVPs. I got, I got more money than anybody can even think of. You know what? I'm going to play in the Chinese League, bro. He want to go be the Chinese League GOAT. What y'all think? First off, comment down what y'all think LeBron will put up in the Chinese League, man. I'm, get, I'm figuring he put up 60 a game easily if he played in the Chinese League, bro. But what if he just left? He said, I'm out. And Chris Bosh still decides, you know what? I don't really want to be in Toronto, man. I want to be in Miami, man. So that happens still. Everything else, though, is the same. Chris Paul is still a new, a new Orleans Hornet. LeBron took one of his MVPs, man. All of those things are the same except for LeBron James being gone man so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna simulate the next decade of nba basketball if lebron james decided you know what i'm retiring in 2010 i want to go be a family man bro and see how the league would have worked out let's get into it man So in the first season without LeBron in the lead, the 2011 season, Russell Westbrook gets MVP. Now I feel like LeBron got MVP this season. Blake Griffin gets Rookie of the Year, Mono gets Sixth Man of the Year, D12 gets Defensive Player of the Year, and Russell Westbrook gets Most Improved with Scott Brooks, and the Thunder win the 64 games, man. Now in real life, we know this is the season LeBron them would have lost to Dirk Nowitzki them in the finals, and Dirk them are a two seed. The Miami Heat probably aren't making the finals. Boston, they still get that matchup with Boston, though, bro, where LeBron literally broke their hearts. And you got Chicago as a one seed. So this is a universe where, of course, Derrick Rose does not get hurt. And in the first round, OKC, San Antonio, LA, Dallas, that's a matchup that happened in real life. Chicago versus Orlando. And then Boston versus Indiana would have been an interesting matchup at this time. And Indiana wins. Now you get Indiana versus Chicago. You get... Look, I was talking shit about Dirt Dem, and they about to still make the finals, bro, and they make it against the Bulls. If Dirt Dem still win the NBA title in this universe, he was just destined to win it this season. And they do. Dirt Nowitzki with 33. What is this? 32, 8, and, and 2. Now, this is significantly better than he did in the actual finals, bro. But Dirt said, you know what? No matter what, I was getting my title this season. Also, something I'm going to do for this video, I want to see at least the, the first five picks in every single draft. Now, this, of course, I believe is the Kawhi Leonard draft, man. So, I'm figuring he's going to go number one overall, and he does. He goes to a Charlotte Bobcat team that would have definitely needed him, bro. Two overall. You see Kyrie Irving go to Minnesota to pair up with Kevin Love, bro. So, I think they would have drafted Ricky Rubio in this season, actually. Terrence McKinney is a UFC fighter, bro, so that's definitely not supposed to be right, and he's also not white, so <laughs> third overall, Kim Walker goes to the Sacramento Kings, and I think they already have Boogie, so that'd be a good one-two pairing, and then fifth overall, you'll see Roy Williams, who I think is a real player, get drafted. So, Derrick Rose gets his MVP in the 2012 season, which, of course, happened in real life. Andre Miller, <laughs> Andre Miller's not white, for one. All right, man. Jimmy Butler goes to, I feel like Jimmy Butler would be fit Memphis perfectly, bro. Chandler Parsons goes to the Warriors instead of Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson becomes a New Jersey net, and then there's two McKinney's in this draft, man. Steven Jackson, who, of course, will be podcasting about a decade after this. And most improved, of course, Stephen Curry, man. The Bulls won 64 games after losing in the finals last year. And these are your all NBA teams here without LeBron James, man. You can stop if you want to see them. Best teams in the league, OKC, Golden State is already ascending. Chicago and Indiana is already ascending, man. So, Indiana, who do you have? 
Zach, oh, they picked up Zebo. Zebo would have fit this Indiana team perfectly. Of course, in real life, they picked up, like, uh, what was it, David West from the Pelicans. But I think Zebo, especially around about this time period where he's putting up 20 and 10 a game, would have definitely fit them perfectly, man. So I'm actually going to take Indiana to win the NBA title this year. And as I say that, Washington beats them. That's just literally my luck. That's like my luck, bro. That's crazy. And the Mavericks will go back to back like they did not do in real life here. You love to see it. All right, man. So let's see the draft order first thing. First, who is going to be picking? Detroit gets first overall. Raptors get two overall with DeMar DeRozan. Suns will be rebuilding. Rockets wouldn't get James Harden in his universe. Bobcats will still get a high pick. And then Timberwolves, man. So first overall, I don't even know what draft this is, bro. I think this is AD draft. Yeah, I was about to say, Anthony Davis is going to Detroit. Isn't he from? No, he's from Chicago, man. So close enough, bro. Two, two different cities, close enough. Toronto will get Draymond. I think that's a good pick for them. Especially right now, man. Third overall, you would get Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes is, I think, the fifth overall pick in his real draft, man. So it's very, very close to where he went in real life. Third overall, Houston doesn't get James Harden, but they do end up with Bradley Bill. Of course, you would prefer James, but hey, not a bad consolation prize. The Bobcats will get Dame and Kimball Walker, man. So I actually want to switch to that team. In six overall, we have our first trade of the video, and that is going to be Kyle Lowry coming from what is this, Toronto? So the Toronto are moving back up to draft who? Garrett. <sighs> All right, I really like what they're building over here, man. They got Kawhi Leonard, who's uh, up to 86. Boris Diaw is kind of old at this point, bro. But they still, then they picked up Damian Lillard, bro. So, yeah, I like what they're building over here. Let's see how they progress throughout the rest of this video. Kobe is different, man. 36, 36 at 36, right? What is he, 34? 36, 6, and 4, bro. That's insane. Anthony Davis gets rookie of the year, which is to be expected. I wonder where Dane put up, though. 21 and 6 from Dane. Love to see that. All right, Dame, go crazy, my boy. Kyle Lowry is sixth man of the year, so that was a good trade for them. Jonas Valanciunas is most improved, so he stepped it up on the Raptors with Draymond playing some defense for him in the OK Homeless City Thunder. There we go. I was able to say it. Who is Andre Miller, bro? <laughs> Who is this man? Who man is this, bro? Kawhi Leonard makes his first All-NBA team here. Who man is this, man? So the best teams in the league, Indiana Pacers, the Washington Wizards, the Sacramento Kings, who, of course, I think drafted Kimball Walker last year, right? And he isn't even starting. Yeah, he's coming off the bench for them, man. So they're stepping it up. Tyreek Evans was so nasty in real life before he got suspended for smoking weed, bro. Oh, he was so nasty. OKC in Portland. Indiana loses to the Charlotte Hornets, man. Okay, the Charlotte Hornets with a miracle run. Can they beat the 64-win team? They can't, bro. They lose in five, but what a miracle run from them boys. All right, and we are here at the draft. Let's see who is, what is the draft summary for the season? The Heat have the number one overall pick. The Raptors, the Suns, the Knicks. This is the Giannis draft, so the Heat are probably going to end up drafting Giannis first overall. And they do, so they pick up Giannis Antetokounmpo. So all the Heat fans who, when he all the talk about him being a free agent, who wanted to get him. There you go. Who is Kevin Smith? This draft is also terrible, bro. I say this in every video I do, but this is a terrible draft right here. Rose with back to back MVPs. No, this one did he win MVP last year? I don't remember. Already, I told y'all my brain don't work sometimes, man. I think he won MVP last year, bro. Giannis gets Ricky of the year, of course, on the Miami Heat. Do they still have D Wade? I have to check that roster out. Andre Drummond sits man of the year for the Trailblazers. Bradley Bill is most improved. That's it. Like I said, that's a good pickup for them. Scott Brooks and them hooping. So Anthony Davis is now on the first team. Kevin Love, John Wall, Kevin Durant, Tim Duncan still chugging along, bro. And I don't know who Andre Miller is, so I just don't. 
care. The best teams in the league, the Bulls, the Washington Wizards, the Sacramento Kings, and the Oklahoma City Thunder, bro. Who is going to be our Western and Eastern Conference Finals participants for this year? The Oklahoma City Thunder and the Sacramento Kings and the Bulls and the Washington Wizards. So one versus two and one versus two. Are we going to get one versus one? We are. And this is going to be a good finals matchup. And the Thunder will win another NBA title, bro. Love to see it. So, a league without LeBron is leading to a Thunders dynasty right now, which, of course, LeBron beat them in the finals and just putting that out there. This is a much better draft class also. The Mavericks, the Warriors, the Nets. So, the Warriors, even with Stephen Curry, have a top two pick. All right, man. The Miami Heat must have been very, very good, or they traded away their pick because they do not have one. So, they don't get any help for Giannis. Did I just overlook them or something? No, I guess they traded away their pick. So, yeah, I well, hope that was worth it. Who goes first overall in this draft? You're going to see Aaron Gordon. As a first overall draft pick is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Who's next up, man? That ain't going to work out for you, Dirk. I ain't going to lie, though. He's not Dirk's replacement. Who is Patty Knox? All right. This is, again, this is a good, this is a semi-decent draft class right here. Nikolai Jokic and Embiid are in this draft, and they gave Jokic to the Nets. Steph Curry and Jokic would have been crazy, man. And then Joel Embiid goes to the Phoenix Suns. Joel Embiid and Stephen Curry would have been crazy, man. Insane. Dario Sarge, who I believe was a lottery pick this year, man. Sarge has actually had a solid career for somebody who just had a weird career because he was really good on the 76ers. Then he got like hurt with the, with the, not magic, with the Warriors. Zach Levine is a 76er, though. And I do want to see who the Nuggets take here after whiffing on their pick. But or, you're going to see Miss. All right, team, man, let's take a look around the league. So you're going to see Kawhi Leonard and Damian Lillard, of course. D Wade, Bosch, and Giannis. So they are actually still there that's interesting and how what a young i mean what did d-way d-way put up 30 last season even with young is 18 and 10 here i think that's going to be a sneaky good team in about another season if everybody stays together of course the clippers do not trade for chris paul in this universe kevin arnett still chugging along joe kim knows the head of the cavaliers over here luau dane carlos boozer and Derrick rose over here with ga coming off the bench I don't see no really one crazy team right now, bro. Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry are still together again. They passed up on the opportunity to just draft Jokic in and beat, which is insane to me. This Portland team is going to be good in a couple of years. Uh, okay, Kevin Love is no longer here. James Harden is no longer here because he's a Phoenix Sun, so he's teaming up with Joel and B. Okay, that's going to be a good team in a couple of seasons, man. We saw this Toronto team. They have the Dwight Rose. I don't even know who Dante Green is, my guy. Anthony Davis and Brooke Lopez, so that should be a solid front court, especially around about this time. Paul George and Zach Randolph. So there are some interesting teams around here, but there's no one super team that I see right now. So I'm going to be interested to see. Oh, Utah with Chris Paul and Gordon Hayward. Yeah, that's some nice teams around here, man. So at 35, Kobe gets another MVP, bro. Nikolai Jokic is your rookie of the year. Ralph McClellan, Cloyd, I don't know how to say my boy's name, bro. Keith Smart is your coach of the year. Or the Portland Trail. I told you the Portland team was going to be nasty. I told y'all. Y'all got to listen to me. I'm a visionary, man. I'm telling y'all. Sidney Walker, I don't even know who that is. But I guess they should find a, like, diamond in the rough. Jokic, again, I don't understand how the Warriors just passed on my man like that, bro. So, number one seed is your Charlotte Hornets. Okay, Detroit with the two seed, bro. Um, one seed, the Portland Trailblazers. Two seed, the Lakers. Fourth seed, the OKC. That is how you shake the league up right there, man. So, the number one seed, the Hornets almost just lost. Two, three, two, six. I like that Utah team versus the Lakers, man. The Lakers still beat them. And OKC, even though they had a bad start, are still looking like they're going to get to the finals. And they're taking on the Hornets. I told y'all this Hornets team was going to be nasty. And look at that boy, could we go? Kawhi Leonard, my boy gets finals MVP. All right, man, let's check out this draft. Who's at the top of it? Draft summary, Cavaliers top seed, Bucks top seed, Spurs top seed, Grizzlies and Nuggets top seed, man. So first overall, this 2015, is this the cat draft? I feel like, yeah, this is the Carl Anthony Towns draft. I think that's a good pick for them. Carl Anthony Towns, great player. They can possibly play him next to Joe Kim Noah. Christoph Porzingis, they get their freaky European player this year, but it ain't the Greek freak, man. It's Christoph Porzingis. Walt Blunt is not a different, it's not a real player. That's a wild name also, bro, but okay, my boy Walt. D'Lo is a Memphis Grizzly, and the Nuggets will be picking fifth overall and will be taking Trey Lyles. Okay. <laughs> So, 
Oh, Russell Westbrook gets another MVP, bro. D'Lo, best rookie in his class, man. What type of season Przingis had? Great season. Devin Booker, I forgot d was in his class. Great season. Carl Anthony Towns, solid season, bro. Levine, great season, man. So this draft class may turn out to be one of the goaded ones, man. Kawhi Leonard gets his DPOY in 2016, just like he did in real life. And Phil Jackson under the Lakers goes 67 Kobe in his universe doesn't get hurt and just, I guess, puts up 30 until he can't walk anymore, bro. That's just insane. <laughs> Kobe just is going to put up 30. So, Lakers, OKC, 1 and 2, Chicago, and Charlotte, man. So, we may be seeing the beginning of a dynasty right here with Charlotte, bro. Can they go back to back is the question. 1 and 2, 1 and 2, and then now they take on the Lakers and Charlotte. Back to back seasons, man. We're seeing the start of a dynasty right now, and I'm not even mad at it, bro. Let's see the draft order. Nuggies number one, Mavericks number two, Cavs still up here, Spurs still up here, Jazz, Bucks. Who goes first overall? 2017 draft, I don't, Ben Simmons? Ben Simmons, I think. Ben Simmons is the first overall pick. Yeah, look at my memory, bro. 2017, the Ben Simmons draft. Ben Simmons was goaded before, you know, he kind of went off. DeMontes has a bonus, honestly, as a second overall pick from this draft. Wouldn't be that bad, man. DeJounte Murray goes to the Cavaliers. But, yeah, I definitely do not think Sabonis is a bad number two overall pick for this draft class, man. Ingram goes to, goes fourth overall, fifth overall. Honestly, if you do a redraft, Sabonis probably goes Jalen Brown here. Yeah, let me see. This is a really good draft in, like, retrospect also. But I do want to see, like, the entirety of this draft. Jamal Murray, buddy, like, Siakam, Brogdon. Yeah, this is a deep, deep draft. Jakob Perto stuck around the league for a while. But if I was doing a redraft, you if you gave me like the Montez Sabonis as the second overall pick in this draft, I wouldn't be mad at that, man. Russell Westbrook is just collecting MVPs like they're Infinity Stones, bro. Ben Simmons with a great rookie year. I don't know who Jerome is, bro. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player of the year here, bro. So he gets back to back ones. Andrew Wiggins, most improved on the, okay, on the Bucks. The Bucks look like they're building something solid also. Trailblazers is a really good. Kawhi, of course, makes the All-NBA first team. Ben Simmons is on the All-NBA team in his rookie year, man. So... Portland was a one seed, Sacramento was a two seed, so they still have Kemba Walker, Tyreek Evans, DeMarcus Cousins, DeAndre Jordan off the bench. They have a really good roster there. Charlotte was a one seed, I mean, it was a two seed. Detroit has a lot of really good bigs. <laughs> like, I don't know what much else they got. Zach Levine, Andre Iguodala. So this team is starting to progress up, bro. There's a lot of change coming in the Eastern Conference, man. I would be interested in, I would have said I would have been interested in the 76ers versus Charlotte second round, but both of them lose in the first round, so that doesn't matter, bro. James Harden is now a Milwaukee Buck. They just drafted Przingis. They also got Andrew Wiggins off the bench. Okay, the Milwaukee Bucks probably are going to, oh, I like Milwaukee. I like, I think Milwaukee's going to beat Sacramento. I like Milwaukee, and Sat Town gets one with DeMarcus Cousins, but I like Milwaukee, bro. All right, Brooklyn Nets. This would be the final season. Brooklyn Nets, bro, Pelicans, Clippers, Mavericks, and Hawks. The Hawks is the first time we've seen them up this high, bro. So, who's the number one overall pick in this draft? It's going to be Jason Tatum to the Nets, man. You love to see that, which is funny enough is... Isn't he their pick, their draft? I mean, they sent the way to the Celtics, bro. Laurie Markkinen goes to the Pelicans, bro. Yeah, they actually get Tatum in his universe because they decide, hey, maybe we shouldn't, like, trade our high draft pick for a couple years to Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce, which I think is a smart decision in retrospect, man. So, yeah, De'Aaron Fox is a nugget, man. Last season, let's go, boys. In our first AD MVP, Donovan Mitchell ends up as Atlanta Hawk. So instead of Trey Young, they get D. Mitch, Bradley Finley, Anthony Davis, Walt Blunt, Keith Smart. All right, T man, let's see who wins the NBA title. No more games. Let's see. Can Charlotte? Oh, I thought they were going to possibly beat Detroit. 
it is going to end up being the Milwaukee. Oh, the Bucks lose to the Portland. Ah, oh, that's tough for them. Oh, I thought the Bucks were going to win it, man. But this is a fun video to do, simulating the LeBron era without LeBron James, man. Let me know what y'all think down below. I'm out.